All right, all right. We are at day two of Wham. We are in the Bucky's. We haven't even gone in yet, and it's already crazy. There's already cars out here getting ready to go in. It started, I'm supposed to enter at 2. It's 2.43, so it's still jumping at the Bucky's right now. All right, guys, so Saturday was big. You know what I'm saying? We thought it was going to rain. It didn't. I was parked inside in the VIP section with, with a sponsor, but going inside, it was the killers, man. Anytime you go to Wham, make sure you go indoors, you see the killers. OMG 707, you got the Enforcer, you got all the guys with really, really nice rods in there, man. I, I One day, I'm going to, you know, probably get my car in there and see what I got to do to do it, but these guys are the top of the tier, man. And, and those are the guys you don't want to miss when you come to Wham. Check out their car, get some great ideas. A lot of vendors selling lights and stickers and things like that. And you get to kind of see the difference between, you know, eBay lights and really good lights. That's Enforcer right there. Really good car, had a chance to shake hands and kind of fist bump. This Jeep right here is sick. I didn't get a chance to get information on it or even know who the owner is, but make sure you follow that guy. That Jeep is the sickest thing I've ever seen. And I just want to take it off road and do some donuts. Um, but got to see Red Bleed. Pretty good car. I like it. Um, love the carbon fiber hood. If you've been following the channel, I had that wrap that color last year. Um, and one of my favorite colors. I, I regret not sticking with it. Um, but of course, I had to get some things right. And I may go back with it one day. But anyway, outside, there were some good cars. If you see that green Jeep back there, that's Shell Shock Wraps. That's the company that did mine. And this Jeep is sick, too. A lot of great Jeeps, a lot of great trucks. Let me say that. If you are a truck person, don't miss Wham because Wham is not just Chargers and Challengers. It's a lot of Jeeps and a lot of trucks. In fact, later I'll show you an area where they all got together and party. You see the Wonder Woman truck or Wonder Woman Challenger, I'm sorry, and a lot of 300s, a lot of Rams, man, a lot of Ram trucks. The thing I like about Wham is if you have one of these cars and you're looking at ideas, look at the Kobe car. If you have ideas or you're looking for ideas, this is the place to get great ideas. Shout out to Slimer car. She's been doing her thing. But yeah, this is the place to get ideas. This is the place to come and see things that you thought about buying or wanted to do or you want to just chop it up with somebody to see how do they like air suspension now that they have it to see what are they doing to boost it or do they like the fact that their car is wrapped two different colors with the black line down the middle this is the time to come and see things before you purchase it or get information about things that people have purchased i mean look at these wraps look at these color combinations this is your chance to come see it in person so I really like Wham for that because you get to see people who are finding ways to be creative with their vehicle. They're not buying a bunch of off the shelf stuff that everybody got, but they're trying to find ways to be creative. These guys do a lot of car shows and they want vehicles that stand out like this one, whether it's your taste or not, they are uniquely different. Um, and it's great to see cars that are not just fast, but look good. I mean, look at the detail they put in those superchargers. Big shout out to Bailey's High Performance. They were a main sponsor of the event. But there are a lot of cars. And it's unfortunate that I wasn't even able to get all the cars. As you can see, there was a, dot, a dart over there, which was a lot of great darts out here. They get a lot of love. Great darts, great dodges, great trucks. Um, and they were parked inside and out. I am making my way over to where my crew was parked. Big shout out to Mopar Elite. If you're in the DFW area and you want to join the crew, go to MoparElite.com. But we'll put that in the description. But they were parked over in this area. They had a tent set up and they were getting it in. In fact, this is my crew right here. These are my dogs. You'll see us all together at Lone Star Mopar Fest. Hope to see you out there. But a lot more cars parked over here. These are cars that probably didn't pay the uh, VIP fee. They just paid for general admission. This car right here has a very nice um, car, car camera system. So he's getting some great rolling shots. And everybody's parked showing off their whips, man. If you missed it, you missed a lot. You missed a lot of great cars. Even ones that were not in the VIP section or with a sponsor still had just dope, dope rides. I love 
walk in the parking lot looking at everything and make sure you bring some good comfortable shoes this ain't the time to wear your jordans this is the time to wear your comfortable shoes if you old you may want to look at some sketchers or something because you're going to do a whole lot of walking and a whole lot of nice cars and just seeing stuff that's different keep in mind the thing i like about these type of shows is you've been to hooked your car up you've been to did your thing and you want to see if your car stands out you want to see if it's original i mean look at these look at these trx's man they're beautiful so you want to see how your car competes the goal is to get top 100 which i was able to pull away from the show but next year i want to win best in show i want to do things to win to do more so no matter where you are on your car building journey it is respected it is a respected step it is respected part of the journey and we all have been there so come out and see where you line up look at all the great trucks the ram trucks the ram trucks were in full effect they had the whole side of the parking lot on lock just like they did with the light show outside if you are a truck person and you like ram man you would have overdosed off of all of the trucks that were out here the four by four community or off world community was in full effect and it's a ton of other stuff. I mean, look at that Scarface on the side. Just a lot of great raps and ideas and a lot of great Jeeps and stuff. I mean, a whole parking lot was packed. I was trying to get out and do some walking. But when you got a car here that's on display, you try not to leave it too much because people touch it and put their hands on it and try to do all kind of crap. So you can't really you don't get to enjoy the show like you want. I love this purple wrap, purple honeycomb wrap. I thought it was unique and dope, especially the fact that it's mostly matte. Um, I really got a good shot of this that car and I really like it. I thought it was pretty dope. A lot of great Durangos, great track hawks. Um, this is another shot of this purple one rocking the uh Ferrata wheels like myself. And that's just a dope car. There's his Instagram. Make sure you follow him and follow everybody. I was back over here by my crew for a second because I heard they were doing a burnout competition. Now the burnout competition was dope it wasn't your burnout competition that you'd see everywhere it was hosted by demonology so it was good having a chance to see him up close didn't get a chance to rap with him maybe one year you know i'll have the time to stop and chop it up with him but this car did a burnout and had red and blue tires red and blue smoke so it was pretty dope you got to get close to it they got a controlled environment where they got a guy in a flame retardant suit that's keeping the ground wet making sure your car don't catch fire and you don't burn up or shoot stuff back and kill people with all your everything so um it was great to see um you know just the event go down and it was just a good turnout man people really really enjoyed it i mean these guys have the ability to burn tires and you know just smoke and waste money and spend money i guess they you know prepare for it there is a competition for it there is a a, a trophy for it so it may be worth it some people, some of you guys that are doing all these illegal takeovers and burnouts, go ahead, bring it to the, uh, go ahead, bring it to the big street. Go ahead, bring it to, uh, bring it to the pros and see how your car holds up. I mean, look at this car right here. They're trying to wet it. As you can see, the guy in the flame retarded suit, but he, because he got those slicks, man, he is going to smoke it up. And imagine if it wasn't no water being sprayed on it. Imagine the type of, uh, smoke he would be able to produce had he not had a crew there to kind of make sure things uh, stay in order. And I mean, they are dousing that bad boy down to try to make sure no debris is kicked up for the people behind it. But he cooking them tires, man. He's cooking those tires. I love to capture these events in slow motion because they really get to see. Look at all the people with their phones out all around the car like they've never seen a, a drive by. I'm sorry, not a not a drive by, but a, a burnout before. I mean, look at the kid that's sitting back in the back with the red hat, man. It's crazy. So I love to see events like this where if you are a car guy you get to go and be around more people like yourself everybody's friendly everybody enjoys to talk and have a conversation and everybody's just great to be around it's just a dope dope environment so check out check out the check out the uh smoke show you know check it out and look at just what's going on for a second
I mean, this guy smoked the whole area out, man. It was so much smoke you couldn't see. That whole area got smoked out, man. The crowd was going wild. He definitely had the burnout of the day, in my opinion, because you couldn't see. Like, that guy was right in front of me, and he's getting lost in the smoke. You know, the guy to the left was maybe two feet ahead of me, and you couldn't even see who you were there with. I mean, look at it. You can't even see the ground. That's how much smoke he created. And again, <laughs> that's with tons of water being added, trying to cool it off. I mean, the crowd was loving it. I never seen so many people who enjoy getting tire smoke on them. I mean, look at it. It looks like it looks like morning time in the mist and dew. I mean, it's just a dope shot. It makes for great pictures. But everybody had a blast at this event. And again, I'm gonna say this again. I have no affiliation with the event. But if you drive a Mopar, people were coming from as far as Canada. We seen Michigan plates, Ohio plates, New York. Guys were either trailering their car in or they were driving into this event. And it is the type of event you don't want to miss. I didn't do the, the laps for veteran or get a chance to get a picture with my car on the track because I was pretty much in the show parked next to a sponsor. But I had a great time and wish I could have captured everything. But this will give you an example of just how much fun this event was. I mean, look at this. These guys are having a blast in this and watching this competition. So they let a ton of cars get up there and try to do their thing. I mean, a lot of people, you know, signed up to be a part of the burnout. So it was probably, I want to say, when I got there, I, w I didn't get there when it, start, when it started. It probably was another 20 cars in line to do burnouts. So and I was like, all right. After I seen about two or three, I myself was out. I was like, all right, good luck, guys. I got to go. I got to get back to my car. This guy was struggling. He was, he was trying to, you know, do his thing, but he couldn't. He couldn't quite get there, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, big shout out to uh, Unchained Motors, Unchained Mopar. That's uh, they, I call them Unchained Motor. They're gonna kill me, but anyway, Unchained Mopar for doing their thing, trying to get get things going in the smoke show. It's just hard coming up behind a guy who had slicks, man. He just he was just the truth, bro. Just there's no way around it. This was Hopestead by Demonology. I mean, he he did his thing to try to keep the crowd hype. They were having a little technical issues with the water pump. So he went out to entertain the crowd a little bit until the next car came up. And this was my first time actually seeing him in person. You know, I follow him on YouTube like a lot of people. Seemed like a pretty cool dude from where I was standing. After that, I came back over to where my car was parked at. And it was finally getting a little dark. Things were kind of cooling off a little bit. And uh, got my car judged. I hope none of the judges have arachnophobia. They ain't even gonna like my car. But they got arachnophobia. They're not afraid of spiders. I should be good. And that was the end for me. I left. Now, day three, not going to lie. I didn't go to the cruise the next day. Wish I would have made it. I was dead tired. The show ended at 11. I had an hour drive home. I had to get the car reclaimed, get stuff ready. I was tired. Not going to lie. I couldn't get back over there by 10 to get in line to start the cruise. I slept in, ladies and gentlemen. But from what I hear, the cruise went well. People had fun. I mean, I got over there about... 
11 or 12 once it was over with man car was car lot was still parked packed full of everybody so people were still inside having fun talking and chopping it up i went to go talk to downforce solution which was you know the guys i was parked next to last night and had a chance to meet up with some old buddies that i met up with at previous pop-ups downforce do all this the uh splitters and side skirts in fact they were putting some on right there that's adams who was there selling all the adams products i'm sure you've used adams products if you've cleaned or washed your car um that's actually the guy from the company and had a chance to see this beauty on the way out but in all in all it was a great show i had a blast i will definitely be there next year and i will see you at long star mopar fest if you go this year make sure you hit that subscribe button